Hi, my name is Matt Hatton Masri. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create an ER diagram database model using an online service called draw.io or you can also go to the same site using diagrams.net. So let me open up my browser and go to draw.io and you can see that the URL changes to diagrams.net. It's the same site. Now, if you used this website before, you will come across a page that looks like this. It assumes that you're going to save your model on a device. Device means it's going to be saved on the computer. If you want to change that, you can click on change storage and you will see there are more options. You can save your model on Google Drive, OneDrive, Device, Dropbox, GitHub, and GitLab. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to save your model on a device. So let's click on device. You get the option to create a new diagram or open an existing diagram. Of course, today we're going to be creating a new diagram. So I'm going to click on create new diagram. It asks you for different templates. Which template do you want? And as you can see here, there are many, many templates. But the one we're going to be using today is entity relationship diagram because we're working with databases. I want you to select entity relationship diagram and then click on create. When you click on create, it asks you for where you want to save your file. Select a suitable folder, then name the file world because we want to create a model of the world and I'll show you in a moment the kind of model that we want to create. And another thing you need to know is that it's going to save an XML file. So essentially the model is nothing but an XML file. Click on save. When you click on save it gives you a default model of a relationship between customers, orders and shipments. Now you can rearrange this if you like by moving the entities around. And you can also click on any of these shapes and you'll see that you get a context menu here. For example, if I click on the customer's shape, I can change the color of the title and I can do the same for orders and shipments. Also, the shape of the relationship can be changed here. You can, for example, change it from rounded to sharp and you can see here it creates sharp corners. Another thing you can do also is if you hover over any of these entities, you see that there are these connection points. So I can drag a connection and drop it here. So this is how you create the connections and the end of the connection, you can choose it by going here. So you can see that the end of the connection in our case, in the case of an entity relationship diagram, is this kind of shape where you have like three fingers. I can change that to that shape. This represents a one-to-many relationship. So if you look at our diagram, we have a one-to-many relationship between customers and orders and another one-to-many relationship between orders and shipments. Let's just find out how we can modify this default diagram into a diagram that works for us. I have here a model that is a relationship between country and city and country and languages. So each country has multiple cities. So there is a one-to-many relationship between country and city. And also every country has languages. One country can have one language, one country can have multiple languages, therefore there is a one-to-many relationship between country and country language. Just for the sake of trying out this tool, we will model customers and change it into this city entity. So I'm going to double click on customers and just change the name of the entity to city. And here the primary key of city is ID. So I will double click on this and maybe come here and change this simply to ID. Then let me add these four attributes or fields to the city entity and they are name, country code, 
district and population. So this means that I need to add some more fields to this. One way I can do this is to click on it twice, like one, one click there and then another one so that it expands over to this column. Then I'm going to right click and say duplicate. So let me duplicate these two more times. All I'm going to do is change them so they match name, country code, district and population. So the first field is name. I'm going to come here, change customer name simply to name and it will be char 50. That's fine by me. The next thing is country code. I'll double click on this and then go change customer name to country code and the field will be char 3. Next I'll change this to district and the field is going to be char 20. Finally population I'll change customer name to population and we don't want char we want int because that's what we have in our model. So I'm going to come here and delete all of this and just make it int. Okay, so you get the idea. You can continue making these changes onto these other entities. What we should first discover is that we have a foreign key here into country code. So I'm going to change this entity to country and the primary key is going to be country code that's country code and is going to be int not null. Over here, this country code is a foreign key. Therefore, I should say FK here. Now we have a bit of a problem. The relationship between city and country is not one too many, but it's one too many between country and city. Therefore, this we have to flip it. This means that I'll take that out, move it back here and basically make it upside down. So it is a one to many relationship in this direction. And you can see now we have the relationship of a foreign key here pointing to the primary key in the country entity. There's another problem with country because I just changed the primary key here, but of course these need to be changed accordingly. So I will leave that exercise to yourselves. Let's now close the browser. Let me go back in as if I want to continue changing the model of my application on another day. So I'll go back to that same site and go to draw.io. Takes me here. And then I want to do device, open an existing diagram, and I'll navigate to where I saved that file the last time. And I would have saved it into this folder. So if I click on open, it gets for me the model that has been saved previously. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in another video.